Good morning, everybody. I'm going to give you guys a brief tour of the 2019 Buick Envision all-wheel drive. I've had it for the past week now and had a lot of fun driving it. I took it up to the hills of Santa Barbara into the resort we were staying and then back down a few times to check out some things in the city. It's absolutely beautiful there and we took advantage of the gorgeous weather to get out and really put the car through its paces as well as enjoying the town. So this car is an all-wheel drive, like I said. So it makes great for mountain driving and as well as busy freeways and we certainly hit up a lot of those. So I'm going to show you a few things. In my video the other day I showed you the really cool trunk release, how it goes up and down. But we're going to go ahead and do it again just in case you didn't watch that video. But check it out. So if you're loading groceries packing for a vacation, any of that. It's super easy to open and shut. One really cool thing that we didn't realize until after is like, okay, pardon my hand being in it here, but check that out. So you can stow whatever you need for your, for your trip in there, and it's totally out of the way. Lifts up very easy. You've got your handles here to help put down that back row seats. So there's that, and then we're gonna go ahead and shut the trunk here really easy so again you can have bags all over your arms and still get in and out of the car okay so that's in case you have a dead battery on your key fob right there you can still get in the car here we go now we didn't get a chance to use every little bell and whistle in here because it is absolutely fully loaded so I'm going to go ahead and turn the car on just so you can kind of, it's super quiet. Oops, got to put your foot on the gas, on the brake rather. So safety. <laughs> you can tell what music we were listening to. It's Hair Nation on Sirius. Okay, so I'm going to shut the door here because the trash truck is in the neighborhood. And if he comes while I'm here, I'm going to have to stop and back up. But, so, locking all the windows, child proof lock mirror controls over here you've got your lights and you've got that cool auto sensor thing so that it stays on so in the dark you don't have to remember to turn your lights on and off less dead batteries issues to worry about this here heads up display basically what this does and I can't show you I don't think you can be able to pick it up on the camera see yeah you can right there so it says zero is miles per hour obviously because I'm in park but this will tell you Right there, you can make some changes in brightness and positioning and all. But basically, that's going to tell you whenever you're on the road, depending on what settings you've put it up with, what, how fast you're going, how fast the speed limit is in that area. And if you've got nav set, it'll guide you so that you can see ahead of time your turns and all. So you don't have to take your eyes off the road, which is handy because we were driving through some fog in the mountains, and, and that was a great system. And again, when you're driving with a car full of kids, you're already distracted sometimes. So you want to make sure you've got everything that you can do to help yourself keep your eyes on the road. Here is the digital dash. And you can see all the different options there. Real easy to read all your gauges. Here is all sorts of different options on your steering wheel and your cruise control. And if you've got it, it's got a, a kind of cruise control that adapts to the speed of the cars in front of you so if one slows down your cruise control is already going to slow down so you don't have to stop your cruise control or change anything the car automatically will do that for you then you've got all your volume and all these other options and here's some really cool stuff okay so there's your nav screen I mean your music screen but this is where your nav is going to be so let's put it on nav ah there we go so it's basically showing you where I live but uh, it does come with a Wi-Fi. We get 4G LTE, which was handy again because we were in some mountainous areas where we weren't able to get cell or even Wi-Fi or anything. So you can put in your direction, wherever you're going. You can put in by address, points of interest, points of interest around destination, all the different options that you've got here. To go ahead and volume, we can go back to the main menu. You can put in. See, there's a restaurant we were at the other night. All that stuff, super easily to use. You can hit your, get your phone, go back and forth, see if I want to browse what stations I want because it's got Sirius XM in it. It's really easy to go back and make those changes. So we're just going to put it back on that one. 
There's a clock. Okay, this is really fun over here. See that? See that button right there? That's to call the Avengers. No, I'm just kidding. That's what turns off your auto start and auto stop engine. So one thing that we didn't know initially, and it was kind of an experiment, and you come to a light and you've been in, you know, you've been driving, and I can't show that to you because I'm not going to film while I've got the car outside of park. But when you come to a stop and the car stops at a complete stop, the engine will shut off. And we're like, what's going on? Is this a hybrid? Well, it's an auto start stop system designed to be more economical on fuel. So it literally will shut the car down, and then the minute you release your foot off the brake or touch the gas pedal, it starts back up. So you hear this very quiet engine starting, and boom. So over here is where you can turn that off and some other things like your lane assist, which was awesome because that was one of my favorite things, I think. It's driving into L.A. traffic or any traffic, but a lot of times people will ride in your blind spot. So right over here in your mirror, I'm going to go ahead and put the window down so I can show you up close. And that car is wet because it was raining and it was dirty, so we rinsed it. But that's right there. See that car with that little star on it? That turns amber if there's a car in your blind spot. So when you're driving up and down the street, the freeway or wherever, and somebody's sitting in there in your blind spot and you need to change lanes and you're not sure, that alerts you very easily and very quickly and without a doubt that there's someone in that spot. So it's not a good time to make that lane change. And, you know, it's same thing with parking and lane assist. So if you're driving and you start to swerve, the car will tell you and, and, and help you out of correct so that you're not you know, you don't get an accident. And it will also do it with distance in front of you. So that if somebody in front of you is, you know, you you start to tailgate for some reason or they're slowing down or whatever, the car will alert you to that as well. So real quick over here with the air conditioning, all sorts of options. And then you've got um, defrost, air conditioning, and of course the in-car. And heated seats, air conditioned seats. I gotta say the air conditioned seats kind of threw me a little bit because it kind of feels like you spilled something on your seat when it's just really, in reality, the cold air that's blowing into your seat. So it's really cool if you're, you know, because they are leather seats. Like, got kind of the hybrid seat going on here. They're very comfortable because you've got a million different um, options for seat comfort and, and uh, adjustments for height and leaning back. I like to sit up straight. My husband likes to lean back a little bit more while he's driving, and you can change it very quickly if we change who was driving the vehicle. But these were really cool because... You know, if you're hot, it was hot in Santa Barbara a little bit, and then it was cold, so we went back and forth between the two. But there's your air conditioning levels, car temp, and you can change it to both sides. And drink holders. This was cool. This is your auto, your emergency brake right here. Super easy to set. Okay, pulled up. I am in park. See, tells me right there. Boom. Now, turn it off. Step on the brake, and I'm out of park now. Oop, there you go. See? Park brake released. So, that's really easy. You've got a lot of different conveniences, too. So, let's open that center console up. Your charging ports. And they supplied us with some, which was great, so we didn't have to worry about getting them in and out. You just close this puppy back up. Back here. Look at that drink holders for the seats in the back. There's a third seat in the middle so you can flip that back up. A lot of comfort. Seat pockets here in the back for storage. And let's go up here. Just some more of your basics. You can see your OnStar and and just some different options you've got. Of course, got your lighted mirrors, all the fun stuff, all the little things that you, you know, you don't think about that you need until you don't have them accessible. This right here was great for storing a cell phone if you weren't charging it or a spare set of keys or whatever. A lot of times we were sticking the map where we were going in there for like lists of things we wanted to do in Santa Barbara and then we can plug it right in here. Nav. This guys is going to be a huge hit and all cars should have this. This is your wireless charging. You literally stick your phone down on that slot and if it's compatible um, and we didn't have an issue and I had three different kinds of phones with us that we tested you put that in there it will auto charge now if you plug it in with one of those cables too it will help auto sync it to your system up here so it'll ask you ahead of time if you want to be able to go ahead and connect the phone to the car and that way whatever's on your phone becomes accessible up here so as you can see lots of options up here really easy to use radio and you can tune and I mean 
a lot more probably than I think a lot of us are going to use, but it's available. And when you're out cruising, if you spend a lot of time or you're sitting in LA traffic or any kind of traffic, a lot of these gadgets are really going to be handy for you. So, um, blinker, you know, obviously over here and you've got a flash mode in case you need to signal somebody that they need to change lanes or a hazard or whatever you're going to use that for your wipers rear and and front right there and um, I think that's the biggest things seats are super comfy it's got Bose stereo so the sound is really good I won't blast you guys out I'm gonna give you a little bit of a taste of it okay it's probably not gonna come across on video as well but it's a really good song right okay so um, that's kind of my tour here this car is great. Seats five without squishing at all. We tested that out, and I've got you know my my youngest is in high school, so we've got some bigger kids, and um, it's fine. And in the back, all that storage. So we were able to fit. We put the seats down for traveling. We we're able to fit all our luggage, and I kind of overpacked maybe a little bit. We were there for four nights, and I took seven dresses. Um, and like 12 pairs of shoes because the weather was up and down up there and we wanted to be prepared. So we had all that luggage back there and a cooler, you know, like a main cooler and then a travel cooler and my husband's tiny little suitcase. And I had clothes hanging here on the hooks there on the doors on both sides and um, put a full cornhole set back there, regulation size, my Avengers one that my husband custom made for me. So it fit back there without a problem. And, um, you know, we didn't have any issues with space, and mileage on this car was fantastic getting up and down the mountain. As you can see, we've come back, and um, there's still fuel in the car because it was great coming back down. I think that auto start and shut off, it really does help. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you what some of the amenities on the car were, and... Um, you really got to drive the car to experience it fully, but it's a great family car. It's a great couple car. It's a great commuter car. So if you're looking at purchasing a vehicle, give the Buick Envision a chance. This is the 2019 model, and it's great. So um, is it for like an SUV or a family car go, like a hybrid mix? It's great. It's something to definitely consider. So thank you. Bye.